Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy FKM broadcasting live from Studio 13 and today I want to make this video to talk to you guys about how to register your music, collect royalties, and you know basically how to get paid for music, man. I get a lot of, first and foremost, I want to tell everybody that I'm sorry about the background noise, but I got the ACs blowing, I got the silly fans going, it's about a hundred and something degrees outside and I am not trying to be sweating my butt off while I'm making this video for you guys but anyways so I've been getting a lot of uh, text messages uh, DMs and emails about how to get paid for music and how to start and where to start actually where to start with registering um, music and everything and I thought man maybe instead of addressing people one by one I can make this video to help people out so this video is for new up-and-coming artists now in no way, shape, or form am I saying that I know everything there is to know about the music game, everything there is to know about collecting royalties, and I'm not saying I know everything there is to know about getting paid from the music industry, man. That's why I just signed a new deal with a company that's going to do all of that for me. But if you don't have the catalog, and if you don't have the knowledge, and you don't know the people to sign such deal then and you want to go at it by yourself this is the way i did it when i first entered the music game and it's worked for me i don't even really make music anymore and i get paid royalties from it so let me get started i wrote a couple of things down right here so i don't forget what i'm telling you guys first and foremost before we get started with everything that i wrote down here you have to pick your name you have to choose an artist's name and always remember to always spell your name the same way at all times. That way it's easier for your publishing administration and everybody to track your royalties because there could be 10 sad boys out there. You know what I mean? You spell it the same way every single time to separate yourself. Me, I'm in a capital F, capital K, and a capital M. And I never change it. It's never lowercase, never nothing. It's spelled the same at all times. So that way it's easy to track your royalties, man. So remember, choose your name, spell it the same way every single time, never change it. All right, so here we go. An independent artist needs a few essential things to get started in the music industry. So to release your music on your own, you're going to need to know a couple of things. You're going to need to register a couple of places, and I'm here to help you with that. So the first thing you want to do is you want to register with the Performance Rights Organization organization, or Performing Rights Organization. Some people say it stands for this. Some people say it stands for that. But anyways, it's called a PRO for short. You know what I mean? And there are two major organizations you can register with. There's one, ASCAP or two, BMI. I personally have an ASCAP, so with that said, you're gonna wanna register two accounts. It costs about $150 uh, combined to register on both of these, $75 each. Remember, you're gonna need two different accounts, man. So the first one, you're gonna need a, writer, a writer's account, right? So when you're on ASCAP, it's going to ask you if you want to register as a writer or a publisher. You're going to register as both. So you're going to need a writer's account. It's going to ask you all your information, your social, and the whole nine. Make sure you go in there and fill that out as a writer. Then you go back in and you fill and you register yourself as a publisher as well. That way you can create the ma uh, collect the maximum amount of money. Sorry, I'm talking a little fast stumbling over my words but all right so go create an ASCAP account or a BMI account register as a writer and register as a publisher man have your credit card ready remember it costs money none of this is free the second thing you want to do is you want to start a distribution account uh, there's TuneCore, CD Baby, DistroKid there's all kinds of stuff that you can do out there that you can register your music with uh, me myself I have a tool core account so what this is is um, 
this is a platform that you're gonna upload your music and it's gonna distribute your music right so you're gonna upload your song you're gonna upload your artwork you're going to um, tell them the title of the song and who owns whatever you know what I mean you just follow the rules uh, just follow the instructions out there and next thing you know your song's gonna be out on Spotify and and Apple and iTunes and all of that old good stuff man so you're gonna need your publishing accounts you're gonna need your distribution which is two core CD baby distro kid and all of that stuff so that that way the distribution is how you put your music out there and then your distribution also collects the royalties from your sales so every time somebody streams your song on Spotify uh, the distribution collects it every time somebody downloads your song from let's say I don't even know if Google Play is still out or or let's say iTunes somebody downloads your song from iTunes uh, The distribution collects that money and they put the money into your account So with that said you're gonna need to start up a publishing administration account so I go to TuneCore because TuneCore offers it under the same umbrella. I hear CD Baby offers the same thing and DistroKid offers the same thing as well. But I don't know. I have DistroKid, but I don't have publishing administration. Actually, I used to have publishing administration with TuneCore, but I have a whole different publishing administration and distribution now. So uh, the new company that I signed with, they take care of all of that. But for you that's just getting started, I would go with TuneCore and I would sign up with their publishing administration now everything is gonna cost you money man. so you have to have like three to five hundred dollars ready for all everything that I'm about to tell you you're gonna have to have money to do this so anyways you sign up with publishing administration now what the publishing administration does is so you remember how I told you distribution collects the royalties on your sales and and your streams as far as Spotify and everything but you're gonna need uh, representation around the whole world you're gonna need representation in India you're gonna need representation in China and everything and this is what publishing administration does for you man so not only do you have money coming in from sales uh, and streams and everything you have extra revenue coming in from commercials from YouTube you have extra revenue coming in from say your song is played on the radio or your song is played on the internet radio or your song um, gets played somewhere in China, Japan, India, and all that stuff. Now, publishing administration registers your music over there. And then, as well, what they do is they take their currency, convert it, and pay you in U.S. dollars, you know. So, I'm pretty sure you guys can't do that yourself. If you're a genius, then, hey, go for it and do what you got to do. But it's this publishing administration is... I'm telling you, it's the best thing in the world. A lot of people don't register with publishing administration and there's a lot of money left out there. That a lot of uncollected money left out there. And you don't want to leave all that money. Believe me, man, it's thousands and thousands of dollars that might get left on the table. So register with publishing administration. Always remember that. And when you get a little bit advanced, and you start finding uh, like publishing administration companies that they ad administrate all of your royalties and they collect from this place and that place and these people can also help you with licensing your music so if somebody wants to make a song using one of your beats using some of your lyrics uh, say they want to remix your song or remake your song that's where publishing administration comes through for you man so They'll help you with the licensing and they'll collect the royalties from those songs. Or just say, period, somebody makes uh, a song using your beat that you own the rights to. Publishing administration goes and takes the royalties that they made from that song and puts it in your account. So you do not want to get caught without that, man. So I could go into detail, but I'll just be talking your ear off all day, all day, all day. But this is just to help you get started, man. So I'm going to go more in detail. Everything that I'm talking about right now, I'm going to go more in detail each video that I make. All right. The last thing you need to do is register with Sound Exchange. Now, what Sound Exchange is that every song that you come out on, whether you own it or not, if you come out on that song, and this is the importance when I say 
spell your name the same every single time. Uh, anytime you come out on a song, Sound Exchange takes a little bit of those royalties and hold it for you as an artist, man. So uh, it, it doesn't matter if you make a song with Joe Schmo and he owns it and he registers all the copyrights and this and this and that. You as an artist are entitled to some of that money through Sound Exchange. So register yourself through Sound Exchange and hopefully make, say you already made music with other people. There'll be some money waiting for you in that account. Trust me. I register with Sound Exchange and I have a lot. I had when I first went and registered myself, I had thousands waiting for me because I never knew about it before. So just do me a favor, take yourself over to Sound Exchange and register yourself, man. It, the process takes a little bit, but it will go down for you. So remember, choose your name, spell it the same way, and never change. Second, Go register yourself with the performance rights organization such as ASCAP or BMI. Just uh, All you got to do is just go to these websites and follow the instructions, man. And trust me, it, it'll come to you like that. The third thing you got to do is find a distribution. TuneCore, DistroKid, CD Baby. The fourth thing you got to do is register with Publishing Administration. And the fifth thing you got to do is regi register yourself with Sound Exchange. Now, there's a lot more that you can do, but these are the basics that you can do to get paid, man. So um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask them in the comments. And like I said, I'm not even a professional, man. I hired a company to do this for me because I was I realized that I was losing out on a lot of money so I hired a company to do all of this for me but if you don't have money to hire somebody uh, or if you don't have the connections to uh, reach out to these kind of people everything I just told you right now will help you out man and uh, I'll start making more videos you know more more videos uh, to help you get paid man hopefully you guys have a nice long and prosperous career hopefully this video right here helps you out uh any questions feel free to ask me in the comments again i am not giving you advice or telling you what to do i'm just saying what i did and if i were you this is what i would do i mean it is kind of advice but i'm not telling you to go and do it just man you know what i mean man much love and respect stay solid and stay blessed